Awesome, bro. What the buck is up? Hope you're having a bucking outrageous day. So today is Bass Opener Weekend. So you guys can see right now, we got Jer Bear out here and he's got his new kayak. We're gonna be testing it out. He's got the pedal drive. I think it's like the free lure V2. And I got a winter kayak that was done by uh, Brad Goodrow and he's both uh, Southwest Paddle Company and we're gonna actually try to get out there and try to get some nice bass. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. It was roughly about seven o'clock. We had a tough time getting here, but water is just like glass right now on the lake. And it's, you know, I am feeling that it's gonna be a really, really great day. We're gonna be throwing everything that we can. Uh, I am set up right now with a chatterbait and I also got a Senko on. So if I had to switch up a little bit, it's just a little quick and easy mix, a little quick move. Uh, I'm running a lithium ion battery with a trolling motor so I don't really have to do too much work but we're gonna try to get out there and uh, my goal to the, for this year is gonna be like a six pound smallmouth like I said six pound is like always my goal hoping to even just get one so let's get out there let's do this hopefully we send some fish so you can see I'm on a, the kayak right now and I just pushed myself out until about three feet or so and uh, it's a beautiful morning so I got a little dial that's on this side right here and this is gonna control my trolling motor which has the speed and everything you guys there you go and then my pedals to steer me left or right wherever i really want to go and we're actually going to get out there there's a few boats out there already there's a kayaker right there but it looks like the lake is pretty empty and we're probably going to do pretty well so I'll try to push out to my spot over here and uh sink it in real quick and we're going to try to cast Got a Garmin, fish, Garmin Striker 4, we're gonna run, and then we're gonna find out the depths and hopefully we catch some nice fish. But stay tuned for the episode, and let's take a few casts. So I can see right in front of me, I got like a weed patch just sitting right here, and I'm gonna cast a chatterbait for the first cast. And uh, hopefully we get some nice large moths. I like fishing for large moths here, because uh, close to shore is where all the large moths are at. And then if you wanna get small moths, you go into the lake a little bit more. We'll probably do pretty well back in here. See some nice wee patches here. Come on, fishies. So what I like to do with the chatterbait is like, uh, I like to cast it medium cast all the time. Ooh, got a little wobble there because I don't have my sea legs. Then I like to slow retrieve and feel that vibration. And then once you feel that little thud, you just crank away and Pull your large mouth in, small mouth, whatever bites. Oh, I think I hit some weeds there. My drag's a little loose still, I didn't check that, which I should have. <clears throat> Looks like there's a dead catfish right here. Look at the size of that, guys. That's a huge dead catfish, it's all moldy. Oh man, it's gonna be like a 15 pounder. Ooh, it smells, it smells very bad. Ooh, ooh, let's drift by that. <laughs> so a few episodes ago you guys can see that I got this kayak and I haven't got to use it that much we did just the decal video and that was helped out by Scott Clark Sklark. and uh, you know, we got a few times out for walleye and stuff like that but it was difficult we had some nice choppy winds on the Detroit River gave us a pretty hard time but this is a lot more easier just to get out here and fish just like this calm waters pretty much no wind and it's actually uh, not as hot as I thought it would be but it's still early in the morning we'll find out later today it was calling for like a heat advisory you know 32 degrees or so but we'll see how well we do
Oh, got one. Yeah. Nice. Uh, it's a Somali. Yeah. He came up. Uh, hit a fluke. Actually, no, it's a it's a largey. Never mind. It's really small, but he came up and hit a fluke. So there you guys go. First bass on the day on a weedless fluke. Oh, let's see if that thing just pop out of nowhere. Oh no, no! Baby bass, baby bass. So there you go, guys. First bass of the season. <laughs> nice little, maybe seven inch or so, but awesome, awesome strike. You guys should probably see that and came up and hit the fluke and then it disappeared again. So finally, I got one. Broke the seal. Cool. Got one. Oh my god! Bro, that's the biggest perch ever! On a fluke! Holy smokes! Look at the size of that perch, guys. That's like a walleye. I might have to keep some of these, bro. Wow! Oh my god, look at this, bro! <laughs> oh my god, it's so long! It's a guy right there, second fish of the day. That thing came and hit it right at the top, and uh, that's a big old perch. Like, my hand is roughly about eight inches or so, something like that. Look at that, guys. And oh my god, actually, I got a board right here. Let's find out. Let's find out. Ah! Bro, that's a big old perch. I thought it was a bass. That's how big it was. Eleven and three quarters. So, eleven and three quarter inch perch roll. That's a jumbo. Awesome. Oh my god. Eleven and three quarters. I'm keeping that. Really? I'm coming. Got one? No, they chased it, but it was fast. I was dragging it across the top and it came up and chased it. Right out in front of me, there was a whole school of them. It's fast. I don't know if it's silver or it's cool. It's silver or... Yeah, they were going that way. And then I cranked it across the top and they chased it and grabbed it across the top. Oh! I don't know yet. Some pretty decent though. Oh yeah, it's a silver. You're right. <laughs> cool. On a rattle trap, bro. So there you guys go. Another fish on the day. So I caught a largemouth bass, a perch, and a silver. These are very, very good eating, like I said in the old video, me and Jerry fished off the rocks. Um, this is going to be a little... Please don't hammer me. Let me get some pliers here real quick. Using some trebles. Also, just leave these open so I can get these off pretty quick. But, 
Ooh. One out. All right. So you guys go. Ooh. Hopping around my kayak. Dangerous spikes, dangerous spikes. There you go, white bass. So three species on the day. Try to get back in there, hopefully we catch another couple of them. Jerry was right, he called me over and he was like, yo, I got a school of bass in front of me, silver bass. Come over here, take one cast, and boom. Awesome. Awesome, bro. Oh, another one. He hit right at the side of the boat. Oh my God. The big one. <laughs> the rattle trap's going off right now, bro. All right, into the boat. This one's super troubled up. That was like a head-on collision, man. I watched him strike it and everything. So, uh, I haven't got really my pure target species. One largemouth, which is one of my goals this year so far. And then... Let me get this out of here. Almost there. The barbie's just stuck on the inside. There you go. Ooh. Nice white bass on a rattle trap here. There you guys go. That's a nice size one. Much bigger than what we were catching. That thing chased it right up and just hammered me right at the top of the water right when I was about to just reel my rod in. So, pretty cool. Was not expecting that just to hit like that. Awesome. One cast after another. I think we found the right hole here, Jerry. I think we lost the school. <laughs> Casting everywhere trying to find them right now. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, what is that? I think it's a largey. It's a nice one too. Oh, it's a smallie. Yeah, it's a smallie, bro. <laughs> Four species of the day, baby. You know what? On a rattle trap, bro. Dude, I'm it's fighting way different. I was like, wait a second, this is different. Wow, what a great start to the bass opener. Oh man, came here with Jerry straight in the morning. Like I said, we had some tough times. We almost lost the kayak off the roof. I wish I was recording that. Hey Jerry, imagine if I recorded like the kayak almost flying off and everything. Like that? Imagine if I recorded like the part where the kayak almost flew off the car. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Awesome okay. So there you guys go. There's my fourth fish of the day. Nice little maybe 12 inch smallie. Beautiful fighter though. I knew it was something different once it hit. It just uh, wanted to take off and swim upwards. For some reason, all horse flies still bite me. But beautiful fish. Let's get this back in the water. Enjoy yourself. Thank you. Cool. Wow, you can actually see it swim off pretty nice. All right, bro. So, I don't think so. I got one perch, one bass. I lost one. You got silver, smallmouth, largemouth perch. Still lots of time, bro. There we go. Another one on the day. Oh, it came off. It was a smallie. Damn. I hooked my net.
Oh, oh. There you go. Wow, that thing hammered it. I don't even know what it is. Oh, it came off. I cast it that way. Ah, uh, horse fly. You're really winning today. Yeah. On the fluke. Yeah. On the fluke, bro. Largey. Nice. Yep. Awesome, guys. Another fish on the day here. Oh. Horse flies are killing me right now, though. Yep. Fish popped off. Huh? Oh. Dang. Fish popping everywhere. So there you guys go. Another little bass on the day. Great fire though. On a fluke, I was using a weedless hook with it. And I was just using it and fishing this little trim out in this section here. Yeah? Nice. All right, let's try to get another one here. We'll fix our fluke. It bites the same spot every time. No, I'm talking about the fly. Oh. Loaded of the flies today. And it's mauling me so much that I'm starting to swell in my fucking spot. He bite me good, man. Non-stop. Go one. There we go. Nice. Cool. On the weedless hook still. And I'm still using that fluke. I like the presentation of it. It almost looks like I'm walking the dog through the weeds. Just fishing a small peat weed patch here. Missed like three or four fish. I've caught two out of it. So I'm gonna stick here for a bit. What? Oh, he's putting it in? Yeah, I guess it just, just put it out in sections. Oh, okay. Alright, let's get back in there and uh, cast this fluke still. And another one. Another one. Yeah. Awesome. Wheelless hook with the fluke. <laughs> my little, my little uh, tie tie swim bait setup is not uh, good enough. So there you guys go. Another fish on the day. Awesome, awesome, awesome.
Oh, but I'm still getting killed by horse flies. <laughs> oh, so. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. So you see, I'm rigging it up right here. Like it's weedless. Then in the. Yeah. And then in the back here, there's a couple ribs. And I just push the hook right inside there. When the bass bite it, I just set that hook and bam. All right, everyone, we're going to end our day there. It was actually a pretty decent day. I started off with a largemouth bass, caught a perch, then caught a couple silvers, then I caught a smallmouth. Then it hit this hole where it was a bunch of boulders and I caught maybe like four or five other largemouth bass with the fluke. So, you know, open bass seasoner was not that bad. You know, it was actually pretty good. It was a success. No big fish or anything like that. But we had to switch it up. We really had to look for a fish. Tough, tough day. There was tons of uh, mayflies in the water and stuff like that. And we were just getting bit by horse flies like all day, like relentlessly. So much pain. I was actually getting bit right now and I'm trying to fight them off. And we're going to probably end our day right there and hopefully fish another day, which is probably going to be tomorrow. So stay tuned for another episode and peace. <laughs>